All right, next step in our power upgrade system series, we're going to install a soft start into the Pleasure Way Ascents uh, air conditioner. So I bought the uh, Micro Easy Start and the uh, installation kit. Highly recommend this. Uh, this kit gives you the cable ties, all the crimp connectors you need, some additional wiring that you'll you'll need to extend the black wire or blue if your uh, air conditioner is uh, one of those models. And then they also give you a nice uh, instruction kit. So let's go take apart the Pleasure Way Ascent. Uh, it's a Penguin 2 air conditioner that I'm going to be installing this on. So let's go take it apart and see if we can fit this in. So in the instructions for Penguin 2, they talk about having to bend this uh, copper tubing. And this is where the micro start, so, uh, microwear goes. Uh, but luckily... It actually fits perfectly right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it. Mount this here, and then I need to pry this goop off of here, and then this cable will then go straight through here to the other side, and then we can start routing it over to the electrical box. Okay, so the goop is off, so yeah place to put the wires. So these just gotta get routed through there and I'll zip tie it up here. Okay, I'll just clean this up, clean this up, put double side tape, and then I'm gonna take the micro and just stuff it in there and uh, attach it to this plastic down here. So I'm gonna call this side complete. Micro is in the cable go through this plastic piece and I centered both pieces of wire and then surrounded it with this uh, yeah, sticky uh, uh, sealer uh, just to kind of keep it away from the plastic, keep from chafing on both, both sides here. Uh, so that should be good. Zip tied it here. Next we'll go open up the electrical box and feed this cable in, in there and start making connections. So in your planning, the uh, actual schematic for your the air conditioner is on the side of this electrical box, so you're going to take a picture of that and compare that to the uh, microwear instructions. Okay, two screws are 5 16 uh, nuts, so I took those off. And this kind of hinges up because it's stuck to the weather stripping. That's, that's what's in the electrical box. It's your start capacitor, uh, and this is where all the wiring is going to go. So it looks like uh, this is where we're going to need to route the cable bundle that comes from the Easy Start through here. The, the install kit gives us an, a replacement bushing that enlarges that hole for us. Um, so the next step is to take these, route them in here, and then I'm just going to bundle them here and then start the start wiring up. That's the new plug ring, and now all the wires are in here, and now I just need to go and wire it up to the capacitor and remove the start capacitor. Okay, here's a diagram I just created on my iPad. Uh, this is the easy start with the wires, and this I, I've mapped this out from the uh, uh, easy start instructions. So. This compressor on the uh, uh, on the Ascense air conditioner is actually in the uh, uh, it's in the main body of the uh, air conditioner itself. So if we look over here, this is a photograph inside that. Uh, uh, this is coming from down below. This is top down. You'll see there's this red, white, and blue wire uh, kit that comes through and goes through the same hole as the. Uh, easy start uh, into the electrical box. So we're going to be looking for uh, these three wires in there to uh, to map to. So this is the blue wire that we're going to have to connect to the black, and this is the specific white wire that we want to locate in the electrical box uh, to replace the start capacitor. So 
Um, if we look in uh, on here, uh, this uh, the start capacitor has a has a white lead uh, that comes to the run capacitor. Those are on those uh, blade terminals. So I'm just going to pop the blade terminal off there. Uh, take the red uh, wire that's coming off this. I don't know which. It's a secondary capacitor off the start capacitor. As a red wire, we're going to pop that one off also, and that frees up two uh, blade lugs. So the red and white wire from the Easy Start, I'm just going to put those blade uh, crimps on and just slide them onto the uh, those connections that I've I've just freed up with by taking those two out. The uh, uh, blue wire actually just passes through the electrical box, uh, so I'm just going to be splice this um, black wire from the Easy Start into that blue wire. Uh, and then the tricky one is uh, out of the bundle, we have to look for the white wire that's coming into the electrical box. Um, and then that disconnects from the run capacitor and connects to the brown wire of the Easy Start. So I'm thinking this already has the uh, female blade connector on there. I'm going to put a, a male blade connector on the brown and just snap them together. So basically, I'll, instead of cutting it, uh, I'll just pull it off the... Uh, blade connector here and, and connect it to a, a new blade connector that I put on the brown wire. And that way I don't, I don't cut any of the wires. I could actually put this all back if I, if I ever need to. Uh, and uh, the, about the only thing I'm going to have to modify is this uh, uh, black wire to the blue. Um, I'm not sure if I'll cut the blue and uh, do, use an end splice on the three wires or if I'll just shave off the blue and then solder the, the black in the junction. That'll depend on how much slack I can get off the blue wire and how comfortable I am that uh, uh, yeah, that I can make a good connection with the available wire in the hole. All right, so let's uh, let's go out and start uh, start wiring based on this diagram. Uh, just before we go out and start wiring, just to uh, give you an idea of what all the components are. Um, so the red, white, blue wire are coming in through the hole up here. That's where we pulled the Easy Start wires through. Here's that blue wire that's going to come through and uh, and out out this electrical box. Uh, this large can here, this is your run capacitor. So this is where those blade terminals are that we're going to uh, disconnect and reconnect the, the Easy Start wires to. And then this is your start capacitor that has to be disconnected. So there you can see there's a red and white wire. So basically I'm going to follow this through, disconnect this, um, and then also disconnect this red wire here. Uh, uh, and that, that maps to this red wire right here. So you see start, start capacitor, red wire goes to that, that little black can, and then up to the herm or therm <laughs> connector of the run cap. So, so that's going to be, we're going to take it off of here because uh, it's going through here and we're going to take the white wire off here and then we're going to trace the white wire that comes down here and remove that. Uh, and uh, that's the one where uh, we're going to connect that uh, brown wire. We're going to disconnect the white here and connect it into the brown wire of the Easy Start. All right. Okay. So now that I'm up here, unfortunately there are two white wires that go into the electrical box. So I got to figure out which one goes to the compressor. So this is the compressor sitting here uh, on the driver's side, and you can see there's this is the uh, red, white, blue wiring right here uh, from the compressor it goes into that uh, hole that we ran our microstart cabling through. It then comes uh, up, loops over and down. And the two, the two white wires come through. The white wire from the compressor is a heavier gauge than the other one. So we're looking for one that's um, a heavier gauge. Or what I may end up doing is cutting this and then moving it back and forth just to make sure, verify that I've got the right uh, compressor white wire in there. So let's uh, flip to the other side and we'll see if we can figure out which one that is. Okay, here we are at the wiring. I removed the wires from the uh, uh, start capacitor. The brown wire from the Easy Starts go into the uh, white wire of the compressor. White wire from Easy Start goes to the white wire cluster. 
orange wire of the easy start goes to the red cluster uh, and the two I cut the blue uh, and I ended up soldering them together uh, along with the black from the easy start and I used uh, heat shrink tubing over it to kind of strain relief it and uh, insulate it uh, I think that's better than uh, electrical tape so wiring is complete and, uh, next phase is just to button this up and uh, test it Okay, so here we go. We're going to test the uh, air conditioner unit with the Easy Start system uh, installed. So I should have taken a uh, before uh, video, but whenever this uh, air conditioner uh, turned on, uh, there would be kind of a very sharp sound to it when the compressor kicked off. So we'd, you'd hear the, uh, the fan go, and then you'd hear uh, uh, a kind of a sharp sound, kind of like a bang, when the, uh, air when the compressor actually kicked in. So I've, I've been through training uh, the Easy Start system, so I did the five cycles, uh, so it's all set up now. Uh, and what I noticed is that I, I can barely tell when the compressor turns on now. So let's, let's do a quick test, and uh, uh, I'll see if I can get the microphone to, to register the, uh, uh, how quiet this is. So here we go, we're gonna turn the air conditioner on. And maybe we'll see. So 33 amps, this is the battery charger going. Okay, so here's the fan. Thank you. 